Sometimes the view can go askew. On rare occasions, the hosts of the popular daytime talk show have had to chastise their own audience for getting out of line, and it's gotten pretty awkward. When Senator Ted Cruz appeared on The View in October 2022, things didn't quite go as planned. As the women on the panel conducted the live interview, protesters interrupted the show and could be heard shouting on air. These climate change activists wanted to confront the senator about his position on climate change. One cause only. Women now! Women now! Women now! They added, ABC needs to cover climate change more instead of platforming a climate denier like Ted Cruz. As security attempted to quietly remove the protesters from the studio audience, panel moderator Whoopi Goldberg had a message for them. Excuse us, let us do our job. Let us do our job. We hear what you have to say, but you gotta go. The audience erupted in applause as Goldberg shut them down. The protesters, who are a part of New York Communities for Change, responded to Goldberg's comments on Twitter. The group tweeted their videos from the protest and wrote, in part, Whoopi said, let us do our job, but your network is failing to do its job. Cruz reacted to the moment on Fox News and called the protesters climate change radicals. It was a bit of a circus, but the reason I went on The View is I think it's important that conservatives reach much more broadly than just preaching to the choir. During live episodes, host Meghan McCain tended to grow frustrated with the audience. Instead of ignoring reactions opposing her views, the co-host would directly call them out. During an episode in 2018, McCain berated the audience for clapping as co-host Sonny Hostin criticized former White House Chief of Staff John Kelly. Hostin expressed being disappointed in Kelly for associating himself with then-President Donald Trump and even argued that he tarnished his legacy by working with the former president. As the audience broke out into applause, McCain took offense. I just think it's weird to be clapping. Whatever you think about his politics, he lost a son in combat for freedom. Kelly's son Robert was killed while on patrol in Afghanistan in 2010. McCain herself comes from a military family. Her father, former Senator John McCain, was famously a prisoner of war in Vietnam. As Joy Behar attempted to explain that the audience can choose to clap if they want, McCain again expressed her discomfort, saying, Everyone can do whatever they want. I'm saying, for me, it makes me uncomfortable. When Meghan McCain joined The View in 2017, she took the difficult job of being the only Republican voice on the show during the Trump administration. It wasn't long before she realized how challenging the job would be. McCain sometimes struggled to get her viewpoint across to an audience skeptical about her politics. In a 2019 interview with ET, McCain addressed the constant boos from the audience and discussed feeling singled out. She said, it's like lots of intense emotions on this show, and part of it is the political climate we're in, and part of it's just the nature of the show. Getting booed is very hard. McCain was never shy about her frustration on air. During multiple segments, the co-host directly confronted the audience for their booing. When discussing the Democratic Party calling for Donald Trump's impeachment in 2019, McCain seemed bothered by the audience interrupting her. As Sonny Hostin cheered for impeachment and was met with applause, McCain clashed with the audience. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Thank you. When the audience later booed her, she rolled her eyes and chastised the crowd once again. During another heated debate, McCain responded to the boos by saying, hey, I'm, no, I'm used to the audience booing me. There's I mean, like a, it's fine. There's like a Donald Trump Jr.'s appearance on The View was filled with drama on screen and behind the scenes. The interview kicked off with the co-hosts grilling him about his father's administration. Trump responded with jabs about a Halloween costume that Joy Behar wore when she was 29, which many commentators have called blackface. Later, Whoopi Goldberg and Trump clashed. According to a Hollywood Reporter writer who attended the taping, a frustrated Goldberg scolded the audience during a commercial break for being too loud and interfering with the interview. She reportedly said, The booing is f***ing us up. It's messing with everyone's mic. You can grimace and all that. All we hear is booing. The tense environment during the interview spilled over to the commercial breaks as well. Goldberg had a tense back and forth with an audience member who questioned her about past comments about director Roman Polanski, telling her, then be quiet and listen to me. Meghan McCain also had to reprimand an audience member, saying, if you can let me speak, I would appreciate it. Multiple staff members reportedly had a difficult time controlling the audience. They pleaded with them to remain quiet and escorted out people recording things on their phones. Overall, it was a chaotic day at The View. Not only did she hate the booze during her time on The View, but Meghan McCain also disliked her co-hosts being cheered for their political statements. 
McCain frequently referenced the other co-hosts receiving what she called cheap applause. The comments were always a shot at the audience, who she believed was against her. In one episode, when co-host Sonny Hostin criticized Republicans, McCain grew angry when the audience cheered in agreement. It's easy to get a cheap applause line here, but just a. And that's fine. Take your cheap applause line. When Hostin declared it wasn't a cheap applause line, McCain said, Let me speak. On another episode, McCain once again referenced the applause, telling the audience, I just feel like sometimes you just want to line up conservatives and throw grapefruits at us. The co-hosts tried to express to McCain that no one is attacking her. McCain once again mentioned how the audience applauds when a co-host disagreed with her. An exasperated Behar cut her off and said, Oh, now you're blaming the audience. 